Uh, hey guys, um, this video is about navigation in Super Memo, my favorite shortcuts and stuff like that. And I'm gonna do this without, um, I'm gonna do this on one shot, so I'm not gonna do any uh, cutting, editing. So this video could be quite long, could be very messy and and and, and low quality. So bear with me if you want some uh, golden nuggets. All right, let's let's go first. I want to introduce you access keys. This is very important as it will allow you to use so many hotkeys, so many shortcuts. Um, this is very general general one. It's very applicable. All right. So you see um, on every menu, you have a letter underlined file. It's F, E in edit and so, so on. And you can access these by holding Alt, and then you press the letter which is underlined, so F for file. When this menu is opened, you don't need to hold Alt anymore. You can if you want to, but it doesn't matter. And from here you can, oh, whoops, just press, for example, I for import, I, and Q, Q for Q&A, and so on. Another example, Alt-E, edit, uh, open web links, O, and so forth. When you understand this, a uh, lot of shortcuts will open up for you. For example, now we move on to, to um, the my favorite, probably my most used thing, which is quick import. How to import stuff quickly. This is very important. You'll be doing this daily. Hopefully. Um, I'll use plugin called Open in IE. We have a video on that. Look up um, how to improve your import experience in Super Memo on our channel. So I'll open these uh, websites in IE. Then I in Super Memo I press Control Shift A. Then I will press con Ctrl A for selecting all of these. Okay, and here again, access keys. I press Alt C for closing browser. This is optional. Uh, what happens, it will close these three IE windows. I, I won't need them anymore after import. Then, oh, actually let's keep let's skip that off for now. And then Alt I for import. See, I is underlined. And you can access that with Alt I. And that's probably the quickest way to import. Let me show you how fast it can be. Shift Alt A, Control Shift Alt A, Alt C, bar. So quick, so quick. All right, that's quick import. It's super important. And next we have mm, what would be more important important ones probably um, mass prioritizing all right so let's say you have you have this topic and you realize um, this shouldn't be let's say this is zero percent um, priority oh fuck uh, and you realize this should be way lower but it's very slow to uh, prioritize one topic at a time it's way way more sensible to you know change all of these topics in the branch and you can do this with first of all control up control space this is your bread and butter to open branch in browser let's see how it looks in uh, knowledge tree see i press control up it will navigate to the parent topic here control up again we are at the parent then you press control space to open this in browser and browser is basically knowledge tree but expanded one you have different options and so on you can think this is knowledge tree all the same and it's important to like you should 
practice this a lot control up control space because it's very quick when you are on your irq you realize oh this this shouldn't be of this priority and so on i want to access all the topics in the branch so all of these are shown me in this view again once once more control up control space and we have all the children of the branch and this is important because you will be doing uh, mass operations here and you can do mass operations in this menu process browser this is saying we are we're gonna apply some things to everything in this browser and it's same in knowledge tree if you right click process brands this is always call for mass operation remember okay and open that in browser again and we can so as i said if you realize oh this this a uh, subject should be lower priority. It makes sense to change all the children most of the time uh, because you will be saving time. Okay, um, and you can do that very quickly with access keys. First of all, let me show how it's done manually. It's in process browser, priority, and spread. And minimum, maximum uh, priorities. This will go from 50 to 100 priority. All right, it will spread them. So how do you do this quickly when you are in? All right, we have this topic and I realize I want to change all the children to lower priority. Control up, control space and shift F F10. This will access the top left icon shift F10 then we can see P is underlined P pri R is underlined R S is underlined S shift F10 P R S it's very quick see control um, control up control space shift F10 P R S it's super quick this this can save actually tens of seconds and it will obviously um, accumulate over time and then we change this to something like 70 and let's say 82 all right and so many uh, topics have changed their priority very quickly very efficiently um third would be hmm, let's see let's see I want to explain next functional functionality of next repetition. This I feel like this is not very well known. So this is also one <laughs> one of my more used things. So when you press next repetition, what will happen is uh, take a look at these uh, two things. Priority is right now at zero. Interval is one day. So when I press next repetition, it will First of all, uh, lower the priority and increase the interval. Most of you probably know that the interval will uh, grow kind of exponentially. So uh, when you press next repetition, but this is not so well known that it's a function of deprioritizing also. So, so uh, higher the priority, the less next repetition will affect the priority. See, when it's 5, I press next, now it's 12. It's not too much, all right? But when it's something like 50 and 50 priority and I press next repetition, it will very quickly go to 83 and so on. Uh, rationally behind this is such that when you don't process topics, you will... Uh, as some will take it such that it's not very valuable topic because if it would be a valuable topic you would be doing extracts and clauses and ultimately uh, done uh, the original topic and this won't be anymore there so when you when the topic is unprocessed it will deprioritize by default when you press next repetition 
and when you know this functionality it's very efficient to uh, deprioritize all right i see this topic i know it shouldn't be at 20 priority I just press next repetition it will increase all right and to the next one what would be something mm -hmm. um well add to all right control shift j this is this is one of my most used shortcuts again uh when i have a topic and i know that I want to see it today, but I want, don't want to see it right now. Say I have topic take out garbage, but I'm uh, on the middle in the middle of my IR session. I don't want to take out garbage right now. I want to take out garbage after 100 topics. All right, Control Shift J, and now this will be my 100th topic. I will do 99 topics first and this will be 100. Okay, um, what else, what else? Mm -hmm. I showed uh, controls pay. Oh, probably, well, I have video on this control F3. It's super important and how I will use control F3 is when I'm on topic, I will highlight text, control F3, and I have all the options open that text in YouTube. See, it will decision theory is very quick to interrupt when, say, <coughs> um, I have some hard terminology I don't understand, and I need to interrupt it right away interrupt reading right away i will just highlight control f3 and g for google again here's access keys as you see g is underlined i is underlined and so on i have video on this you should check it out web search on super or something like that hmm. what else what else what else what else is important what is I think that's colorsy. 